Shumai friendly eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into building in Planet Zoo and of course continuing in Baleong Zoo today with a sun bear habitat. And I've got to be honest, I had no idea what to do for the sun bear. <laughs> I knew I wanted to do a sun feature, which is what I'm building right now, but I didn't really know what to do. I knew where I wanted the habitat to be in my zoo, but I really had no idea what sort of habitat I wanted to build for them. It was kind of fun just winging it and seeing what I could do <laughs> and just playing around with some things. So at the moment I'm just building a uh, sun out of the art shapes. I knew I wanted this to be a big feature. This is called a sun bear so I needed a sun in there some way. I played around with this quite a bit and I had to like cut out quite a lot. It ended up being six hours to complete this because I, I played around with lots of different ideas before I settled on something that I really liked. But I think the sun is a bit of fun and I hadn't really made anything like that before but I'm not going to get into what I actually used that in because I just kept it on the side for a while. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it, I knew I wanted the sun, I just didn't know where to put it. I was thinking about something like walking on sunshine because it's a sun bay and we just had uh, Eurovision if you are not from Europe and you're not really into anything like that, Eurovision's like this song contest for lots of different countries in Europe. I've never really been into it, but I actually watched it this year and UK got nil point. <laughs> no points whatsoever. So it was a bit of fun, actually, watching one where we really uh, we as the UK didn't really get any points. I didn't really mind. My favourite was actually Germany. It was absolutely ridiculous and that's why I loved it. <laughs> but everyone had lots of different opinions and I did actually like the people who won or the country who won but yeah Germany was my favourite. <laughs> What was yours if you watched Eurovision? But why I was talking about that because Walking on Sunshine is a song by Katrina and the Waves and they were actually on Eurovision. <laughs> but my Walking on Sunshine idea did not work whatsoever. So I scrapped the Walking on Sunshine idea. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think that was would have been a nice concept if I could have actually executed it. And the next thing that is still yellow, I, I knew that sun bears like to eat honey. So I wanted to go with like a honeycomb shape. And I got these planters. I think they're the New World planters, which are like hexagon shapes. And that's what I wanted to sort of build. I played around with a few different shapes and like items and made different things. Hexagonal? Is that a word? Yeah, I wanted to play around, see what I could do with different sized shapes and different items and make them into hexagons to make a honeycomb shape. And I stacked them together to kind of see how it would look as like honeycomb. I wanted to do a little bit of like cutesiness as well as doing the honeycomb shape. I wanted to do a little beehive. So I thought these like curved tubey shapes could be good to make like a beehive. I was sort of tempted to build a shelter for the sun bears and make that kind of like a beehive but I thought that would be slightly too cartoony. I like the cartoony style these art shapes do give to certain things but I didn't want it to be too ridiculous basically so I just made like the smallest beehive I could to put in a kapok tree. And I was like super frustrated with this one. It's not all like glamorous when you're building these things. Sometimes I can really enjoy something and just get into the flow of it. And then sometimes I feel like I am um, 
pulling teeth. <laughs> it's just like trying to get something out of this habitat. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I did enjoy building after a while once I got the concept sorted but getting to where I am at the moment was quite difficult <laughs> and I tested out all of my honeycomb hexagons and the sun bears would pretty much not climb up any of them so unfortunately I did have to use those climbable logs and put them into hexagons as well. My reference pictures looked like the hexagons were stacked together in more of like a flower shape like this and I wanted like the climbing equipment to look like honeycomb but like honeycomb that's kind of stacked and twisted over the hill but I couldn't recolor the wooden logs and there wasn't enough like yellow honey themed colours in this honeycomb so what I did instead was stack my favourite Asian planks <laughs> that can be recolored on top of the wooden logs to give it a pop of yellow and a little bit more dimension. I wish I did this before I started the climbing thing so it would all have been flat and I could have stacked it all together then a little bit easier instead of it being at an angle like it is now. Thankfully the bears can still climb up and down with the yellow wood over the top of it. But I think it looks really pretty. It's got like depth with like the yellow on the top and the brown just kind of outlining it. And with the little beehive on that kapok tree, next to this hill here it kind of looks like the bears have got to climb up the honeycomb to get to the beehive and get to the honeys and i also popped in a pop of gold inside some of the honeycombs to represent the honey itself like liquid gold and the solid yellow hexagons uh, as well in the little flower shape to give it a little bit more of a pop of colour and different like smaller shapes too to make it look like it's flowing a little bit better and I made sure that the beehive was above the ground of the top level of this habitat so it looked like the bear could actually get to the hive so now we've got like the honey side of the habitat done. I want a little bit more sunny <laughs> side because I couldn't really do anything for like the walking on sunshine concept I had. I wanted to do something with those big sun murals that I had made. I spent way too long trying to figure out how to make those, but I did want to make like a sun house. I wanted to make sure that I had a skylight in there so we could let in more sunlight and it gives like nice shadows on the inside as well and because I've got the transport ride and the guest pathways on either side of the shelter I wanted to put the mural on the side. It didn't quite fit as nicely as I would have liked on the side so even though I had like this lovely round pattern I couldn't do that and have it like sticking out of the building I wanted this to kind of look like it it had been like maybe painted on like a proper mural I probably could have done something a little bit easier with the billboards but I'm not quite comfortable with using the billboards yet but if you're not super proficient in photoshop or you don't even have photoshop but you've got planet zoo at least i'm showing a way of you doing it just in game and not just adding in um a bilbo uh, a billboard with a pretty picture on it like this is all made from things that you can find directly in planet zoo without any like outside programs or custom content this is just art shapes <laughs> i kept the walls and that the uh, this like grey colour as I was playing around with this because everything's kind of all different. I 
just wanted to keep it like a plain background so I could see better. As you might notice, I don't have my glasses on today. My eyes have slowly recovered from that terrible migraine I had last month. And it's nice to be free of them for a little bit. The backs of my ears and the bridge of my nose really hurts after a while after wearing glasses. I'm so not used to it anymore. After this habitat, we've actually only got two more habitats to build in Baleong Zoo. And I think I'm going to be really sad once this is over. I've really enjoyed building in this map and building these habitats. I've loved the Southeast Asia Park. All of these animals are just so cute and uh, the sunbirds are adorable with their big tongues and long claws. I, I really do think they're so cute and of course I keep thinking of Winnie the Pooh which is just even cuter. I absolutely love it. By the time I had sort of got to finish in the aquatic pack, this pack had been sort of leaked someone found some sort of files with like an Asian theme to it so I had a general gist that there was a pack coming out but I haven't seen anything so far maybe there'll be something by the time I post this but at the moment as I'm recording this I haven't had any sort of inkling of a new pack coming out at all for planet zoo we haven't got long left until this is finished though unfortunately and i've really enjoyed building in this baleong zoo and the hills were a little plain next to the honeycomb and i still wanted to keep in with the honey theme so i grabbed these bee boxes which were actually in the Hobbiton Zoo that I took a tour around a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, I will put it up in the eye cards. I always point the wrong way. <laughs> uh, but there was these honey boxes or bee boxes in uh, that zoo and I had the individual blueprint from them. I will put the creator down there. Um, and I will always put links to any blueprints that I use in my description. I am a builder, but sometimes I, I need extra help with certain things. Absolutely love these bee boxes, and I thought with the honey theme, it would go really nicely. Bees love flowers and meadows, so I absolutely plastered the hills in these flowers and tried to get lots of different colours in this pops of yellow, pinks, reds, uh, just a variation of like a wild meadow. Super thick as well and a lot bigger than the one I did for the Chinese pangolin. Gotta admit, I did kind of make it slightly too thick <laughs> when I first started building this. I did absolutely cover the floor so I did end up going back in and deleting a few things here, there and everywhere. But I did want it to look like a proper meadow up here and for it to look like the bees would actually really enjoy flying around this area. And my favourite part of these bee boxes is that there is a dandelion special effect with it. I will put a little clip right at the end of these because the dandelion special effect actually looks like little bees floating around all of the flowers and it it looks so beautiful even using a blueprint in this habitat it still took me six hours to build this habitat so having like all of the hours you put into this just not be fully credited when someone else is using your own work it's like not so nice is it so i will always link everything in the description you will get a direct link to Steam for this blueprint. And I tend to put my own links for Steam for my own habitats in there as well. And the Honeybox blueprint will be uh, a required item for this habitat. And of course I wanted to do a customised education board as well for the sun bears. I used the sun sign that I used on the shelter for the habitat and use the animal sign from the Southeast Asia Park for the sun bear and this actually reminds me of the Teletubby sun <laughs> uh, with the like face 
I, I don't know. As soon as I seen like the bare face in the sun, I thought Teletubbies. <laughs> but yeah, you can see a little bit better from up here that you can see the... I've been saying it the whole time. What the fuck is the word? <laughs> Fuck's sake. The beehive. You can see the beehive for, uh, hanging from the kapok tree uh, really nicely from this pathway. And this is basically the first pathway guests will be walking around. So it's nice that the sun bear is pretty much the first one they will see. And it's pretty much one of the last ones we've built. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> I definitely winged this habitat though. <laughs> I had no idea, but I think the sun mural on the shelter and the honeycomb sort of twist in its way or like spinning its way down the hill looks really nice and I'm happy with how it turned out in the end. I was very frustrated in the middle there, but it it worked out in the end and I was super happy about it. So you can see the bears can actually climb up this honeycomb area. It's a little glitchy, but isn't everything with the climbing. It's never really all that perfect, even with the Planet Zoo blueprints for the climbable items. Some animals just kind of are a little glitchy around, a <laughs> around some things and will climb up them in a way you just never imagine. <laughs> But they can climb up there and they can get all the way up. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this habitat. I've gone with like a sunny honey theme. Why not? Lots of yellow. <laughs> so what do you think of this habitat? I know I completely winged it. And I didn't really have any concept going into it other than like suns for a sun bear and honey because they like honey. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays around 7pm. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!